What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Fox Chamber. Right now, we are at the um, Ford Mustang Museum. We're gonna check out a few things, the Ford Owners Museum, to be exact. But um, we're here on the first leg of the poker run, well, fox hunt run, uh, the fox run. We're on the first leg of it, and we're gonna uh, just take a look around, and I'm gonna show you what kind of cars they got up in here. And uh, I've seen uh, uh, 417 Foxes up in here too also, so we might get him on camera also. But we're gonna take a look around and see what they got up in the uh, Mustang Owners Museum. Check it out. I wanted to pause just a minute to show you this one right here. The very first Ford Mustang ever sold. And a school teacher bought this. And from what the owners was telling me of uh, Ford Owners Museum is that they sold this thing a couple days early than what they're supposed to. But it's the first one that rolled off the line, the first one that sold to a school teacher. Yeah, if y'all ever at the uh, Mustang Owners Museum, y'all have got to come check this out. This place is amazing. A lot of cool stuff here. Even this one, he said it's the 33rd one that ran, or well, that was sold, and he had to convince the owner not to restore it so he can have it in here. And that's what the thing's all about. Amazing stories on these cars. So let's keep looking around and see what else we can see in here.
All right, next stop on the tour is the Ford Performance Racing School. I'm gonna go in here and pull some more uh, fox hunt tickets and see what we got. So far, I think I got a queen of hearts. And uh, we're gonna go inside, take a look around, and if there's anything to show you, I will let you see it. All right, really nothing there at the uh, Ford Performance Driving School. So we're now with the Roush Fenway. I'm gonna go inside, pull a ticket or pull a card or whatever and see what's going on and take a look around a little bit and uh it's probably it's probably gonna be the same stuff as last uh, time we was up so we're gonna see if anything has changed everything looks like it's about the same as it was last time so we're gonna take a quick look around and just show you what's in here just in case you didn't see the last video i did at foxtoberfest two years ago so let's check it out Yes, if y'all didn't notice, it is raining and I am not driving the Fox right now because that thing is tucked away at the hotel. We're about to go on to the next stop. We're just leaving Roush Fenway and I'm not sure which one we're going to, but I'll tell you when we get there because these places are scattered all over the place. So when we get to the next destination, I'll let you know and let you see if we got anything to show you. I'll ch let you check it out. All right, we're at Prestige Motorsports. Getting ready to go inside, pull another card. And uh, guess what I've seen out here? Somebody that's been on fan rides. This car belongs to Jarvis Mason. He's been on fan rides, uh, I think episode 11, I think it was. But uh, yeah, let's check this thing out before we go inside and probably holler at Jarvis before we go in. Y'all remember this one? If y'all remember anything, It'd be these bad boys right here. That's what y'all should remember. But yep, been on fan rides. And we're gonna go inside and hopefully I uh, get to see him inside of there. And uh, we can get a little chit chat with him. So let's go on inside and check out Prestige Motorsports. Come on. Oh, yeah. So, uh, this place is awesome. Yo, he got they got all kinds of cars of all kinds of conditions, all kinds of uh, stages of restoration going on. But we're gonna look around and show you what they got up in here. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? All right, uh, we was just left Prestige Motorsports. They had a lot of the cars and stuff covered up. We're gonna go back tomorrow because they're serving food there, so you know we gotta get our groceries in. So right now, we went to the Auto Barn where we got some cool classic rides. And now we're gonna go inside, pull us some more cards and see what we got. And really my card hand, I ain't got really nothing going on. But we are gonna check out what they got at the Auto Barn, classic cars. All right, we are inside. We're gonna start at the back and work our way towards the front. Y'all, this place is massive. And all these cars, I know you can hear me echoing, but all these cars in here, they're for sale at the Auto Barn. Classic cars, there's a sign right there. 80,000 square feet of mobile goodness. If you have a car for sale, you could probably bring it up here. Or if you want to find something, you can come up here to the auto barn up here. This place has a lot of stuff for sale. New, used, old. I mean, there's, a, there's a lot, all kinds of models of stuff out here. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to check everything out and show you what they got up here. Something might catch your eye. Yeah, you saw that correctly, $130,000, pretty much $131,000. I don't even wanna lean on that bad boy.
Well, we arrived at the brewery and of course the weather is not being very generous to us, but uh, the turnout was still good. I'm gonna check. Let's go a little around and look at everybody and see who showed up. So far, they are rolling in. Very good turnout. Very, very good turnout. I, I got here a little minute, couple of minutes late myself, and they were still rolling in. Here's Jen. Hi. 
from um, Fox Mustang Resto. Fox Mustang Restoration. Yep, she hosts, she has this thing under control. Yep. There's nobody stepping out of line because of this young lady right here. <laughs> So y'all yeah, check them out. Fox is only here at Fox Summerfest. Only Foxes at Fox Summerfest. And we have Fox Summerfest beer, so. Oh yes, y'all definitely want to order those because I'm gonna take me back a four pack just to put on the cabinet somewhere. Yes, exactly. I, yeah. I did not anticipate people not drinking it, but also it makes sense. So. Oh yes. I'm, I'm doing it myself. I'm gonna get I'm one. Gonna put some in my garage. Yes, that's yeah. exactly where we're gonna be at. Yeah. My little, my little, uh, sitting on my toolbox up there with yeah. my rest of little knickknacks yeah. and stuff. Right. It's like Fox Body beer. Like what's better than that? I don't don't know nothing much right. not much at all yeah good to see you jim <laughs> you too <laughs> oh yeah jim fox resto and like i was saying everybody's starting to turn out this place is uh they're starting to roll in a little at the time i came in late i left my fox at the hotel because it was raining but uh these other guys there are definitely hardcore drove them in and i probably should have drove mine myself but I got lazy, did not feel like uh, washing that thing again after uh, I got back to the hotel. So we're gonna enjoy the ones we seeing out here and uh, maybe talk to a few folks as we're doing it. Hey, turn them cameras off, man. No. What's that? Hey, we gotta get you, bro. Nah, no, man, you gotta turn the cameras off. <laughs> I'm trying to keep that power tame. Let it roll out, let it roll out. y'all right, we're at our last stop before the kickoff party and i got a crappy hand going i need two more good cards really uh to have any kind of luck with anything but we are at power curve right now getting ready to pull our last card and we'll take a look around real quick before i take off from here See y'all. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. That was power curves, and my hand is garbage, straight garbage. But uh, right now, the kickoff party starts in about two hours, so we're probably just gonna go hang out, ride around a little bit, and try to avoid some of this rain. As you can see behind me, yeah, it's looking kind of crappy out. Uh, made it to the uh, to the kickoff party. It is starting to rain. It's gonna mess up everything tonight. But we're still gonna have a try to have a good time regardless of what happened. What's up everybody? Yeah, I'm outside now. The rain's been peeled back a little bit. And a couple of people are leaving. And it's very understandable right now because it's cold, it's windy right now. And we got folks, uh, they're trying to roll out. So we're gonna get ready for the show tomorrow. But there's a lot, a lot of nice ones out here right now. And right now, what I'm looking at is Crazy Horse Customs. Y'all seen it on Fan Rise before, but y'all, Fan Rise did not do that car any justice. Let me tell you right now. I'm gonna take some more pictures of it tomorrow, and y'all gonna see it in the daylight. Crazy Horse Customs. Like I was saying, he was on fan rides. Awesome car. Photos didn't do it no justice. But uh, I'm gonna take some more, like I was saying, tomorrow when we get to the show. But right now, we're gonna try to catch some of the ones that's out here right now that didn't leave, that's gonna kinda fight this weather that we're having out here. Just cold, windy, kinda nasty. But hey, there's a lot still out here. We're gonna check these bad boys out. Hit 12 psi. 
Oh, how many states have the same town? Name. That's a good thing about the Vegas one. Yeah. Y'all you know? remember Dale, don't you? Dale. We're better than having one Calypso Cobra is two Calypso Cobras. <laughs> I think like a quick sale on it, I could probably get rid of the All these cars we're gonna see again tomorrow so I just kind of wanted to show just a little bit of what was going on out here before I shut down for the night but like I was saying everything that you've seen right here is gonna probably be on another video during the daytime uh, tomorrow at Fox Oberfest so I'm gonna go ahead and close this thing on out and uh, we'll see y'all later <laughs>